All right, what we're going to do now is we need to add our create topic functionality. And of course, we only want users to be able to create a topic if they're logged in. Uh, so one of the things I want to do is make it so when we're logged in, we only see create topic, we don't see create an account. And when we're logged out, we only see create an account and we don't see create topic. All right, so let's go to the header. I'm going to close all these out just to clear some of this stuff up. All right, so the menu is in the header includes. So templates includes header. And the menu is right here. All right, so all we have to do is use our handy is logged in function that we created in the system helper. All right, so basically I'm going to say PHP if uh, we'll say if not logged in, so exclamation is logged in. Then we want to show this create an account. Else we want to show create topic. All right. So let's give that a shot. We reload, we're not logged in, so we see create an account. All right, if we log in, now we see create topic. All right, so if I click create topic, we have our um, form. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is we don't have our editor for the topic body. This should be a, a simple editor so we can have bold text, um, italics, things like that. So let's just check out uh, the header file. And it looks like the, the JavaScript is being included in the footer. Um, and actually our CK editor um, JavaScript file isn't even included. So what I'm going to do is, is take this JavaScript out and I'm going to put this in the header instead of the footer. Okay, so I'm going to cut that out. I'll get rid of these comments. Save it and then go to the header and stick that in here. All right, so uh, we want to have this base URL and then templates. And we'll copy that and put that right here. All right, and then we also need to include our CK editor JavaScript. So I'm going to copy this and it should be in JavaScript and then actually I don't I'm not even sure if we have it. Templates. We don't even have our JavaScript um, folder. So let's do that in the templates directory, create a, a JS folder and go back to the HTML that we created, H, the HTML template and in the JavaScript folder, we want to copy these two files over. Okay, and then here in the top, um, the second one is going to go to, is it CK editor? Yeah. Uh, CK editor slash CK editor dot JS. All right, and that should do do it for us. All right, so now we have an editor, which is good. So we can see. Um, I'm going to close the header and footer out and open up the create first the create. Uh, dot PHP that's in our root and then also the template create and we can see that the form uh, is not going anywhere so we just got to add to that we'll add the method will be post and the action is going to be create dot PHP alright so we have a title Make sure your, your fields have a name. 
Okay, select, it doesn't look like this one has a name for the select field, this should be category. So we wanna say name equals category. And then the body has a name of body, which is fine. And then the button, the submit button doesn't have a name, so we need to add one. And let's just call this one do create because we need to check uh, in our other create.php file, we need to check and see if this do create was, was clicked. Okay, so we can save that. And actually one more thing, uh, these categories are static. We need to pull these from the database. So let's see, we should, we should be able to use the same type of loop that we used in the footer, in the sidebar which is this here, this get categories. So I'm gonna copy that from the footer and put it right after the select. All right, and what we want to happen is we want option and then value. We want the value to equal PHP echo category ID. Okay, so that should be the value, and then for the actual text, we want the, the category name. Category, is it name or title? I can't remember. Let me check real quick. So we want categories. Okay, so it's a name. All right, and then we can get rid of these static options. And that should pull the, the categories from the database, hopefully. So we'll go back and reload. And it looks like something went wrong here. Let's check out the source. Uh, fail to open stream, no such. Oh, you know what? Um, we need to just create a, a topic object in create. All right, so we'll say topic equals new topic all right so now we have our categories so now that the form is all set we can go back to category.php in your root and we need to set up for um, we need to see if that do create um, button is clicked all right so we're going to do that right here um, let's see, we want to say if, if is set, post do create, okay, so basically if that button is pressed, uh, what do we want to do? I'm going to paste in, um, basically all the post fields and then some all right so basically we're creating an, a data array we have the title which is coming from the form from the post uh, actually slug we're not using Let me just get rid of that uh, body is coming from the post category ID coming from the select form uh, user ID is coming from our get user function um, which basically just gets the logged in users information and we're saying that we want to get the user ID and then the last activity is just going to be the current date and time alright so we want to use the validation class with this so what I'm going to do is create a new validator object right here
All right, so then we can validate this data. Let's put in our required fields, with, which is going to be the title, the body, and the category. And then basically we're going to run the is required method from the validate class, pass it our array, and then uh, if that passes, we're going to say if topic create, then redirect with a success message if it's created, or redirect with an error message if it's not created. Okay, so save that, and now we need to go to our user. Um, I'm sorry, not our user, our topic class. So libraries topic. And go all the way to the bottom. And we're going to paste in the create function, okay, which we pass the data to. And then, same as the others, we're just creating an insert query, okay, with all the fields. And some of these we don't need. Let me just check real quick these fields we have. Yeah, we don't need the view count. So let's just get rid of that. Okay, so slug we don't need either. All right, so the, we're binding values here from the data array, and then we're executing and returning true if everything goes well. So let's save that and let's see if we can do a reply. Okay, so let's go to, we're logged in as Brad T, so I'm going to go to JDoe's post. Uh, actually, no, what are we doing? We need to create a topic. We'll do the reply after. All right, so let's say this is a test. We'll choose web design. We'll say, hello, this is a test, submit. Your topic has been posted. There it is, right at the top. All right, so that's working perfectly. I love when that happens. All right, so now that we can create a topic, uh, we want to reply to one. Okay, so if we go to J Doe's post and we have something to say, we want to reply. So um, the first thing I want to do is make it so you this doesn't display unless you're logged in all right so let's log out first okay so we shouldn't be able to see this uh, so let's go to the template um, it's topic all right so here's the reply form and we got a few things to do here as well uh, so first let's make this form so it works um, give it a method of post and action okay so action is going to go to topic yeah topic.php but we want to go we want it to go to the current topic so we need to tack on ID equals um, topic ID All right, and then we only want it to show if the user's logged in. So right under the header, the H3 tag, we'll say if is logged in, we'll show the form. And if not, then let's just um, put in a paragraph. Please log in to reply. Okay, so if we save that, reload, you can see that now the form is gone and it's telling us to log in. All right, so let's log in. go 
to J Doe's post. Okay, the form is back. So what we need to do now is just go to um, topic, and we need to just paste in. Actually, let's see what uh, the button in the reply form. Our button needs a name. So let's just call that do reply. Okay, and then on the topic page. All right, so basically we're gonna check to see if do reply is clicked. If it is, we're gonna get our data. The topic ID is gonna come from the URL, so from the get variable. The body is gonna come from the post that we type and uh, the, re well, the reply form that we fill out. And then the user ID is gonna come from the get user um, function, helper function. Uh, and then we're gonna create a new validator object. Uh, body is the only field, so obviously that's the only required field. Um, as long as they fill that out, it'll go to topic reply, which we have to create. And then it'll just redirect depending if it's, um, if, it, if it goes well or not. So the last thing we need to do is go to the topic class and, and just um, create the reply method, which is pretty easy. Basically, uh, we're just doing an, an insert. Okay, and this is going into the replies table. Um, we're binding the values just like we've been doing and then we execute it. All right, so if we save that, let's just say, great post, submit. Okay, so it's not, it doesn't look like it's showing. Let's, let's see if it went into the database. No, it didn't. Huh. All right, looks like we might have to do a little bit of debugging. Unless, did I not save something? So let's just make sure that it's, it's, um, do reply, we'll say echo replied and then we'll die. Okay, so it's going through correctly. Um, let's try and let's see if we can get these fields. Okay, undefined index body. Data bodies coming from the post, which comes from this form, text area. Oh, there's our problem. This has the name reply. This should be body. All right, so that sh should be our problem, hopefully. Get rid of that. All right, so let's try this again. Let's go to John's post, say this is, actually we'll just say great post, submit, and there's our reply. And it should show up here as well. All right, and since we're using the editor, uh, it's, it wrapped us, it wrapped our text in P tags. All right, so that, I think that's everything. Brad's posts, John's posts. All right, so everything seems to be working perfectly. Log out. So there is our application.